All right, here's the project for today. Rehanging this gate. And I think there's one in this barn. I gotta rehang. Got my gate jacks. Right here. Fix them, pull them off. Go get all that rope and stuff off this gate. I haven't even assessed the situation. I just assumed I'd have to, uh, yeah, put a new like, sucker rod like what's up here, down here. That's the project. If you're interested at all in these gate jacks, check out this video in the description. We'll put a link in the description of a video that I've made of how to make these gate jacks. I've made some modifications, but this will give you the basic idea of how to build gate jacks. If you're new to the channel or maybe you don't know, I have an online store, arosswelding.com forward slash shop. Link is in the description. We've got tools, digital prints, Aros welding shirts, stickers, hats, coffee mugs, etc. Thank you for being here. If you enjoy these videos, make sure and subscribe. I post a new video every Friday. Hope you enjoy the video. got to be kidding me it's so hot out so I got that one gate hung we'll go look at it here in a minute put some chains on it and some little catches you know to catch the chain latch it they had ropes and stuff around them <clears throat> well as you've seen that one wasn't even hung it needed hung I had to get the truck to cool off it is just way too hot and it's way past lunchtime I don't know what I'm doing working through lunch but it feels good. Once again, here's what I did the other day. So this, this run over here on the, not this one, but that one, I'll throw in some footage right here of me fixing it. Put a new post in the ground, new top rail. These old corrals just need a lot of TLC. Concrete showing. Yeah, you can kind of see through that hay feeder right here. Concrete. Anyway, I can show you all that, give you a better view of that here in a minute after I cool off. Alright, here's the gate. Little chains I threw on there. Catch system. Back here. the concrete it's talking about all this that's kind of uphill and over here is like downhill so all this stuff is washed down over the years 
Need some dirt in here. Anyway, I got one more gate to fix in this barn behind me. And then I think I'm gonna call it a day. Come on in here, check it out, take a look. This is the gate I'm rehanging. This is a good example of, oh, I get the right lighting. A good example of this flap that I put on the back. See there's wood and stuff in there. Um, and this was angled back real bad. So I put this flap on here so it would keep it level. And it's working good. Same with that one back there. I've got my gate slid on this hinge that was not broke. It was the bottom one that was broke. Got it slid on there. I'm fixing to go. I got my new deal up there. Anyway, I'm fixing to go get a level. Uh, match the gate with the post. If the post is a little unlevel, I'm going to make the gate a little unlevel depending on how it swings in here. He clearly doesn't use this all the time. Uh, so it's not like a huge deal, but I always like to practice like I'm making it, you know, like they are going to use it all the time. You know, I just think it's good to, no matter what you're fixing, no matter how much they use it, if they want it fixed, fix it legit as possible. Uh, normally I would have cut the old pipe off. I left the old pipe on there. Normally I would have cut that off, but this post is actually uh, rotting out. It's all that's old oil filled pipe. So it's one of them deals I'm gonna do the best I can to make it hang while that post is still here, but the reality of it is that post is probably gonna to need to be replaced. So in this situation, I didn't worry about going through the trouble of doing too much work on the hen situation, but as far as getting it level and the way it swings, I like to make it legit as possible. User friendly, you might say. Again, we'll put a link in the description of the gate jacks video if you want to go check that video out my advice for this week is if you're going to use oil fill pipe just make sure and inspect it the best you can because a lot of that oil fill pipe is either filled with stuff from being down in a well or it's got cracks in it and stuff like that we've actually got some corrals here on our property that i'll show you that has rotted from the inside out and i've seen a lot of this around farms that i've worked on so just be careful when when using used pipe when it comes to pricing a job when somebody approaches me and wants a price for a job i usually price it with new pipe if you know if they're not worried about getting the materials they want me to get all the materials and everything i price it with new pipe just because it's easier to work with and i feel like it's going to last a whole lot longer but even whenever i'm using new pipe i do try to use a heavier wall i have used thinner wall new pipe and it's okay, but if I, if I have any way of finding thicker pipe, that's what I'm gonna try to do, is find that thicker pipe. It's just gonna last a lot longer, easier to work with, not gonna warp as bad whenever you weld on it. Just be careful, I'm not saying it's, it's bad to use oil-filled pipe. A lot of people do it, a lot of farmers have it, they've bought it at auctions, and if, you know, if a farmer already has a bunch of it and they want me to use it, I'll use their pipe, but I will advise them that it may not last as long as new pipe so it just depends on the the job that you're doing don't forget to go check out my shop arosweldingcom forward slash shop to find
find A-Ross Welding shirts, circle, circle burner, blue book, prints, anything like that. Thank you all for watching, and remember, learn something every day.